Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about types of objects and some important methods. In most of the interview, definitely there will be an indirect question from these three methods. So we will look into these three methods with practical example in this session. Before that, what is test object? The object which is present in the object repository or called test object. This is the test object. Then the second definition, what is runtime object? The object which is present in the application AUT application under test are known as runtime object. So while executing the script, UFT will compare the objects in the object repository to the object present in the application. If both are seen, the object is identified and finally the action is performed. So you are clear about these two things. So TO means test object which is in the object repository, RO means runtime object which is present in the application. Now these three methods. From the name itself you can guess its usage get to get test time object property get the property from the object repository then set the project to the object repository get the runtime property uh, we don't have get to property so we have totally three methods now i will show you some examples the first method is get to property. I am just commenting it. We are going to get the properties from the object repository. Drag drop. In the object repository, you can see a uh, text is the property and its value is reserved train between important station. We are going to get this value. So during execution, if you want to see the result, you can use message box dot get to property text. We'll run and verify this method. See, uh, it displayed the uh, output as reserved a train between important station so this is how during our execution we can retrieve the object repository value same way i'll show you some two to three example this one this one so we have to retrieve name value now i will execute and show you the result file F5 for the run, just run it. So, first one is reserved train between important station, and second one is get details, and third one is get full fare. So, this is the way in which we can retrieve the value from the TO that is object repository. I'm just commenting. The second important uh, method is set. TO property. It means that we are going to set the property in the object repository. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to change this property value. So, first, what I will do is I will show you what is the value which is present in that. get to properties of text it means that it will display the present value then then what I am going to do is I am going to change the text value set to property of what is the property is text comma 
value is uh, I am going to give this PNR status value value as PNR status once this value is changed I am going to display that message box after changing the value I am going to display the value so now I will execute and show you so first it should display a train between important station which is there now I am going to change the value and display that value see the value has been changed and displaying you the PNR status to set the test object property during the runtime we use the set to property and this is only the temporary change do not affect the value stored in the test object repository so if you come under any requirement saying that you have to change the property during the runtime in the object repository at that time you can use the set to property in this example we are uh, getting the property of text of uh, train between important link then I am changing that property to PNR status now third step I am displaying that value fourth step I am going to perform the operation just running it train between important station PNR status see the PNR link is clicked but even though the object belongs to the train between important station during runtime I changed that property to PNR status and performed the operation this is the practical example of using the set to property hope you understood a bit when you do this practically you can get more clarity on this so the first one is get to property just get the property from the object repository and set to properties we are changing the property in the object repository during the runtime comment at the line and third very important one which will be used definitely by you it is get ro property ro means runtime object so get ro property means we are going to get the uh, runtime property consider this scenario you are going to get the total amount this is for Punjab mail for this selection the ticket charge will be 630 rupees when you change the train name this particular value will be keep on changing so how to get this value during the runtime for this we will use the get RO property so what I am going to do is I will add that particular object I'm just adding this web element it's the total amount if we make it as a 630 it will work for the 630 value so I am just making this as a dynamic one so I am removing that particular 630 value now what I will do is drag and drop message box dot get RO property of inner text so if I execute this code it should display 630 value so it displaying the 630 value now I am just changing the selection of this train so it is 625 will this code will work now I am executing the same code it should display 625 see so we have added the object of that a dynamic value 
and we are trying to retrieve that value that's the end of today's session if you have any clarification please let me know thanks for watching have a great day